This video will show you how to install the Atera agent and how to configure privacy settings for remote access on a Windows operating system. This is for the end user, meaning that you should only follow this process if you receive this link or a Terra file directly from us or your trusted IT managed service provider. The Atera agent allows your IT provider to manage and securely access your device if any IT assistance is needed. From us, you will typically receive the link or file in Microsoft Teams. So then just if you receive the link, click on the link and it should automatically open your browser and download the file. As we see here, it will end in a .msi. If this does not start automatically, it will probably notify you, hey, just allow, okay? So we can go ahead and open the folder where this is saved. Then double click on the file you just downloaded to install the agent. Now, if that sometimes doesn't launch anything, then just right click on the file, click install. So obviously click yes is going to modify things. You would most likely need to be an admin to get this to work as well, just FYI. So if it prompts you for an administrator login, just go ahead and fill that in and then click OK or sign in. OK, then it installs everything in the background. And after a couple of minutes, it can take maybe up to five minutes, go to your start menu. And well, here you see recently added. So you should see a program called Splashtop Streamer. And you might need to go to all applications or just search. And you'll see a whole f entire folder called Splashtop Remote. And that's just where the program lives. So if you can't find it, you can always, you know, you can always open hit the windows icon here and start searching just by typing. So splash top. There it is. Here's the app. Okay. So we can open this. This is now to configure um, some privacy settings for you. So here in status, uh, you don't really need to change anything. Next settings here. Just make sure that this is enabled. This should be by default enable auto launch and the rest of this is all fine. Nothing to change here. So security, uh, this is for you, the end user. So there's some things you can do here. Now don't set anything here unless you are directed to do so. But for your own privacy, what you can do here is under request permission to connect. Right now it's off, meaning that your IT provider can just log on to your computer at any time. For a little bit more privacy, we recommend allow connection after request expires which means that when we request to connect, you'll get a notification on your desktop that, hey, you know, Apex One Tech or whoever else is trying to connect, do you want to allow them or not? And this option means that if for a while, so it maybe be like 30 seconds, if you don't respond, it will allow us to connect. Otherwise, you know, you can just respond right away and allow it or decline it. So this is helpful because it gives you time to respond. And if you're already logged out, you're not available, we can still access your computer to make sure things are running or to fix something. Okay, so you can either, either have it off or allow connection after request expires. Uh, and the rest of this doesn't matter too much. Same thing here in advance. And that's all. You can close this window, you can delete this file, and you can see that, yeah, everything just works in the background, mm -hmm. nothing else to do.